but in wrestling, we run. All right, so first T was what? Second T. What do you think? Tenacity. Tenacity is good. It's pretty much tenacity. It's pretty close. So, so the second T is tempo. Huh? You're proud of yourself, aren't you? Good job. Second T is tempo. 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 Tempo matters. Energy matters out there. How much force can I impose on my opponent? Tempo matters. Him out with the crowd yelling this and that, mom being happy, dad being happy. I'm just focused on my tempo. How hard am I going after what I want? You look across the country, look at the college level. It's even for a little while. It's even. And then someone starts to whittle away a little bit. It's not because they got stronger, it's because what? The other, the other man got weaker. Your tempo's hard, hard. Tempo matters. How do you build tempo? When the alarm goes off at 6.30, you answer it. You get the better look, you eat right, you train hard, you get a bike, you get a run, you get a wrestle. Tempo. The best guys I've ever coached, there's not one guy I've ever coached that's climbed really high. I've had some guys do okay. I've had some guys do okay. That does this. It's not connected to elite. This is not connected to elite. And if right now in your mind this is an option, be prepared to not climb as high as you should. You know what this is? I never hurt. My lungs hurt. Make sure your lungs don't hurt. Tempo matters. All right, let's go to the next move, and then we'll go to the next last team. All right, so here we go. So, let me really, let me really, uh, okay, I'll, I'll do a quick story, and you tell me, uh, so why don't you tell me the answer, all right? You paint the picture for me. All right, here we go. Let's pretend he's 6'3". All right, he's 6'3", and he, and he squats 450. He's 6'3", he squats 450 pounds, and he's my running back. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a high school football coach. I'm the offensive corner. He's 6'3", he's being recruited by Ohio State, Notre Dame, Notre Dame, Miami, Florida, Auburn, Alabama, all in one. 6'3", 240, say 240. He squats 455 on he benches 225, 18 times. Straight A student. Great character, great discipline, and it's Friday night. And I call his number 20 times. I give him the ball 20 times. And he gets five yards the whole time. What happened? What? That's good. No. What happened? No, he got five yards the whole time. I gave him all 20 times. He went a total of five yards. What happened? Total of five. Sorry. My fault. What happened to him? No, he carried it 20. He did. He didn't get benched. He carried it 20 times. He got worse. No, good, but no. No, he's tough as heck. He's brilliant. He loves to compete. He's amazing. What happened? The linebacker hit him. He didn't want to run again. No. This Florida. I love this. These are answers I would expect in like the middle of nowhere that only wrestle. This what happened? Daniel. Pat, someone help me. What happened? You look like you know what happened. Yes, the offensive line couldn't block. Did someone say that? Oh, my brother. What's up? Listen, the offensive line was like this. They got off the ball and they went to block and the defensive line was already around behind and got a hold of him. He had nowhere to go. Here's the point I want to make. All that long story. Your offensive line in wrestling, you better pay attention to it. That is your ability to hand fight. If you're a guy that just wants to grab, dive in and shoot at his legs, you get a hard time. You must understand the skill of hand fighting. Creating openings. Me, if I was coaching you, me in the corner yelling shoot is not going to help you. You must understand how to get past head and hands. Look we'll in your stance. Here we go. All right. Wrestling 101. Here's what I'm going to do. First one I'm going to show you, a hand fighting skill. It's really basic. You may know it. Master it. Why? If I'm a righty, and this is really little school stuff, but I'm going to say it this way anyway. So you'll remember it. If you lead your right leg. Your right hand is the stinger. If you lead your right leg, the right hand is the catcher and the stinger. It's the stinger. 
Your trail leg side is the, is the hammer. It's going to do a lot of work. They're both going to work. This one's going to do a lot of work. So watch, here's what we do. I'm leaning my right foot, I'm going to move left. I'm leaning my right foot, I'm going to move slightly left while I stay in my stance, and I'm going to take a hold of his wrist first. So here's how I catch the wrist. Look at my hand. Look, this hand is going to catch his wrist, and if he shoots up, he's going to down one. This is how far it's going to go. I'm not doing this. Look, no! I'm doing this. He reaches, I catch the wrist. I catch it right where it meets the hand, and I rotate it down. The free hand, watch it. I'm going to go into an inside tie in this series. Watch my head. I'm not giving up head position. Do I look like I'm in a good position? No, I'm, gonna, I'm in trouble. Head in the way, wrist, inside tie, you guys might hold Now all I do is push. Little steps and I just push. I take over the mat a millimeter at a time. Watch again. Position, wrist inside tie. My forehead, my forehead is pushing back. Every, the initial touch is so important. Every single time I touch him initially, if I have that, I have an advantage. He's always fighting out of what I have. That's what I want. Got it. Head See my forehead? My forehead in there. Push him back. Questions? That's all I want. One, two, three. Hustle five.